Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rai and today I'm going to teach you how to compile your first C program. This tutorial is designed for Linux users who wish to teach themselves the C programming language. It is aimed at beginners. All it requires are your favorite text editors such as Vi, Vim, or Nano, a GCC or GNU's compiler collection, which usually comes with most Linux distros, and of course, your interest to learn. This tutorial will, will work for you as well if you have a Raspberry Pi because Raspberry Pi OS is also a Linux distribution. Here's a little bit of background on C. It's a structured or modular programming language that gives you the ability to break up code into smaller parts known as modules. It's an excellent language for building fast and very efficient programs. It can be found in applications where speed and memory footprint matter such as the Linux kernel and data acquisition systems. In comparison with languages like Python or Ruby, which requires an interpreter to translate the source code one line at a time each time the program is run, C was designed to be compiled to provide low-level access to memory, giving you a complete standalone program. Getting off off the ground is simple and easy. First, open up a terminal and create a new directory for us to work on. Uh, using the mkdir command, we can create a new directory and we can name it ccamp. Change it to that directory, cd ccamp, and fire up your favorite text editor. I'll be using Vim because I like the color of its syntax highlighting better. So I'll open up a new file by typing Vim and I'll name it first.c. By convention, C source files have C as extension to their file names. Now type the following. Now save it and type ls to check if it has indeed created the file. Now compile it with gcc-o first first.c. It'll then attempt to compile the C program and link it together with the standard libraries to form an executable called first. That is what the dash o stands for. It means output to a file named first. If you have encountered an error, make sure you have the complete GNU compiler collection installed on Debian-based distros such as Ubuntu or Linux Mint. On the terminal, you can install it with sudo apt install build essential. I already have it installed in my machine, so I won't do that. Let's check the, out, the executable file with ls. Uh, we, after the compiling process is completed, uh, we can now run the executable by typing dot slash first. This will print the string onto the screen and return zero to the operating system. In our bash terminal shell, the output value from our return statement, which is zero, is stored in the variable dollar question mark. This variable holds the value from the previous command only. In our case, it's our first program. Typing echo dollar question mark lets you print the value of dollar question mark on the screen. And it's zero. Try editing your program, your first .c program, and replacing the return value with another integer like 27. Save the file, recompile it, and then run it again. And now by typing echo, dollar question mark again to print what value dollar question mark variable holds this time. Now let's go over the code line by line. The first line is a declaration that printf which is a standard library function that allows us to print a string onto the screen has to be included. So that's what it does. The next line is the int main. Int main with the open and close parentheses. 
This is where the execution of our first .c program starts. It's a function that has a return value of an integer, hence the int keyword on the left. If there are any arguments passed into the function, it would go within the parentheses. In this case, there is not. The body of the function is defined by enclosing it with curly braces this to curly braces which is referred to as compound statement each statement in the compound statement is ended with a semicolon the first line inside our curly brace is a comment it is usually a good idea to add comments to explain to others or potentially ourselves in the future as to what our program does Comments are written between an opening and closing slash asterisk asterisk slash. It is not ended with a semicolon. The next line is a statement calling the printf function. We give it a string that we want to print. It is delimited by quote, quotation marks, double quotes and contains a new line character all right that's all i have for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it in our next video we're going to see more examples and get some input from our user please don't forget to like and subscribe and to hit that notification bell so you won't miss out when our next video comes out see ya